Hello, boys and girls. We are back in Prime Order. I am trying to make sense of things, and you are welcome to uh, peek over my shoulder and uh, feel the frustration when I can't figure stuff out. Okay, there have been developments, many developments. We have been uh, to new places, we have gained a new ally here. She shoots guns, so that's very useful. And uh, we have picked up Primer's metal. And we have found all sorts of junk. I doubt that will have any effect. Yep, here we go. So basically, right now, I need to find a code, more like a piece of code. on the um, what's the thingy the signal thingy so I was able to use uh, all sorts of uh, cool stuff here all the stuff that I didn't need before and I was carrying around I, I was able to use it here to open these doors wow what a view is what I would exclaim if I like <laughs> unattractive industrial equipment rather than shiny gynoids. <laughs> Says the robot obsessed with a floating lamp. A lamp is not industrial equipment. Ooh, snap. So yeah, we uh, went to contact this radio tower and uh, apparently this thingy would work. Except uh, we don't know the code. Let's see what my data says. So, uh, this is the way to figure out the uh, the big code code for the big tower. Charity here gave her a bit. No, I mean her sister is his clerk. Uh, but we can chart the numbers. Team, but we haven't even met this one. Factor is the one behind this hatch. Morris, I think. Uh, or as far as I can remember, Memories is the one that's manifested through the info booth. No, the metal, uh, we found Primer's metal. It wasn't in the junk, but it was uh, somewhere on the gears. Or uh, when we opened that door over there, it fell off or something. And uh, he's giving us some subtle hints, which might or might not be helpful. Let's see what Crystal thinks. Maybe Leopold knows something about Steeple Boss, given that his fabronymic is Steeple Belt. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what about Clark? Horatio, we must focus on making progress. Sure. I have not seen the streets of Metropole for a long time. I am not surprised to see that without law it has fallen into corruption and malfunction. Leopold? I need the council code, Leopold. Did Steeple ever tell it to you? I don't know what you're talking about, Tyro. You were built by Steeple, sure a member of the council. <laughs> Do I look like a council brat? Your name is Leopold Steeplebilt. You said so yourself. So? Steeple was a member of the council before Metro Mind shut him down. He would have known the council code. Maybe he told it to you. Like I said, I don't know what you're talking about. The Steeple built. Metro Mind destroyed your builder and mine. She has broken metropolitan law and will be punished. Do not protect her. 
Listen, Missy. I don't know who you think you're talking to. No, you listen to me, Scrap Trader. Metro Mind has stepped outside the law. Justice is coming for her. I am coming for her. Dial down your squawk box. Sounds like it's preaching. I don't know how I can be clear. I don't know Steeple. I don't know the council. And sure as Russ follows rain, I don't know any council code. Now you want to trade scrap, you're welcome to. But I'm through trading. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. We need a glass pump. And we need a mask. And apparently we need a kick. What else is new? I think it's ignoring you, boss. Factor ever teach you the council code, Oswald? Ha! <laughs> Factor built half the robots in Metropole. Why, they made us pick our own names out of a book? <laughs> you think he bothered with chit-chat? Somebody seems bitter. <laughs> seems? I will not seems. I am bitter. Bitterness is when your builder gives your twin brother a special gold chain and gives you nothing. Bitterness <laughs> is when your brother gives that very chain to you, you loan it to your only friend, and he loses it. Well, I'll hand it to you. That really does sound broken out of the box. <laughs> Which brother did Factor give the chain to, and why? Owens, of course, his favorite. As for why, does favoritism ever need a reason? Could Factor have told Lawrence the code? I have long since given up speculating that the partiality Factor could have shown him. I'm miserable enough from what I know for <laughs> certain. Okay, so I think that's the very end of the chain that we're carrying. Do you know where I can find Lawrence? I'm my brother's keeper. So you have no idea? None whatsoever. <laughs> you see, the poor wretch drifted into overclocking and dissolution. That sounds familiar. To pay for a scandalous <laughs> energy consumption, he bargained everything away to Metromind. I tried to warn him, but of course he never listened. Well, it does. <laughs> then, alas, he simply vanished. I searched for a time, but other matters drew my attention away. All the same, I'm sure he's scrounging an existence somewhere. We found a large radio tower in the Factor complex in the Underworks. Is there a signal to transmit to Factor that would get his attention? As far as I know, Factor has been deactivated. And as for a signal, perhaps there is one, but I have no idea. I have never called upon him. <laughs> what exactly happened with the gold chain? <sighs> Factor gave it to his favorite, my brother Lawrence. Lawrence gave it to me after I shared a large quantity of energy with him. And then, as I told you, I loaned it to Cornelius. I thought you hated Cornelius. I would. But then we were partners and friends. We had just built Rex. We had scheduled a grand soiree and celebration. <laughs> to complete my ensemble, he offered me a monocle that he claimed was given to him by Memorius. In exchange, I loaned him the gold chain, since it too came from a primordial machine. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Indeed. Then somehow Cornelius lost the chain. Claimed that it was taken from him by a servitor of Metromind as he left the subway station. Ridiculous! Metromind would not have confiscated it without a legal basis. Not then. At this point, I can believe anything about Metromind. Believe whatever you wish. I know it was a lie. So I kept the monocle, and we have not <laughs> spoken a word in kindness since. The chain. The monocle. Lawrence. One of them must be of use to us. Boss, at this point, can I suggest we just deactivate ourselves and quit? <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is like finding a bit in a terabyte. We are not giving up. Period. Okay. Tell me more about your monocle. Operating your wardrobe, eh? <laughs> a wise decision, though I would suggest that you stop by discarding the ratty coat. I'm interested in memorias, not fashion. And I'm curious what the monocle actually does. Ah, I was told that memorias built the monocle, but who can say? As for what it does, other than the linear distinction, I'm rather uncertain. From time to time, I'll just the text as I'm reading it. I have no idea how or why. In any case, the lexical inconvenience is more than offset by the sartorical benefits. Can I have the monocle? 
Excuse me. My friend just likes to collect scrap. Scrap? <laughs> oh. I'm looking for things that might help uncover the council code. And why would my monocle do that? Because that's the way my passading life seems to work. <laughs> Look, I'm sure you'll trade it for something. That's also the way these things seem to go. <laughs> trade it? What do you take me for? Some kind of junk dealer? Hey, Morgan, <laughs> why, pray tell, should I help the robot who stole my Rex? No one stole anything, Oswald. You wanted your case decided, and it was. Theft by the law is no different from <laughs> theft against the law. Uh, Civilized people give gifts. You do not have one, daughter. Then will you give it to me? No. <laughs> well, we'll have to go about this some other way. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, so, so, so. so let's go for him. the chain. Oswald, I found your chain. Well, I say, after all this time, I never expected to see it again. Other than Thomas, though. Probably because it's been sitting in sludge down in the underworks. I see. Typical of Cornelius' clumsiness. Oswald, on the chain it says Factor Man Built. Metromind servitors throw anything that mentions man into the underworks. Well then, perhaps I misjudged Cornelius. You have my thanks, Mitch, to Mitch. Actually, I would rather have your monocle. <laughs> That is only fair. After all, I kept it because Cornelius never returned the chain. Since you brought the former, perhaps we'll add up to it by right. Thank you. Hey boss, can I wear it? No. <laughs> Please! You need a monocle like I need an unpaired parenthesis. Come on, boss, I'll look so great! Coveting is the root of crime, and poor vision is a sign of degeneracy. <laughs> Dinoids love degenerates! <laughs> By the way, isn't Justice herself supposed to be blind? You are mistaken on the facts and the law, Crispin. He's insufferable enough already, without a monocle. We're not going to encourage him with accessories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put the manual save here. Yes. And let's check my data. Oh, okay. Let's check the monocle then. It's actually a series of ultra-thin lenses stacked on top of each other. It seems like it might be used for decoding visual data. It doesn't look any different. Okay. It doesn't look any different. That's strange. When I look at this through the monocle, it reads, I remain within Memorias. It doesn't look any different. It doesn't look any different. Okay. By within, uh, I wonder, do they mean the info booth? Once, Memorias' information terminals were the most trusted source of data in Metropole. Now Metromind has overwritten and altered the truth they contained, corrupting them like so much else. This looks different. Memorius's monocle is somehow interacting with the kiosk. Uh -huh. Okay, except I can't record while I type, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this separately. For now, let's Anyone check home? <laughs> Anyone home? Let's check the courthouse too. Hey, where'd they go? Oh. And, oh, that's a different cable. A note? Off duty. Huh. I'm not here to steal parts. When we go to the tower, we have to assume Metro Mine will be waiting for us. Perhaps, perhaps not. To us, our mission is all consuming. But to Metro Mind, we are one of a hundred problems. Tunnels cave in, bridges collapse, generators fail, foundations crumble. All these things require her attention. Okay, so that covers perhaps not. But what if she is there? What then? Then I will be pleased. <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> Crispin, what do you say? I wonder if that big, all caps, memorious man build that displayed on the screen when you used the monocle was trying to tell us something, boss. But I won't be able to record that. Let's check on this.
Courthouse closed until further notice, pursuant to Civil Ordinance Section 889-B1C. Horatio, we must focus on making progress. Okay, seems like she ain't getting sentimental over here. There's nothing we can do for him. There's nothing we can do for him. Okay, okay. I am waiting. It doesn't look any different. What about the view? I'm pretty sure that wiring isn't up to code. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> It doesn't look any different. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a carving of a gynoid holding crude scales in one hand. It doesn't look any different. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap the monocle on everything that we have seen so far. Not gonna happen, Lampy. I wouldn't expect much conversation out of him. Okay. Quite a tower. It would be lost forever if I dropped it out there. Oh, okay. Whoops. Hey, this bugger is following us. It would be lost forever oh. if I dropped it out there. Again. It doesn't look any different. Okay. What about the clock? It doesn't look any different. <laughs> it doesn't look any different. Let's check the subway map. It doesn't look any different. I 
I need to see what he's offering before I can make a trade. Oh, okay, so I can only interact him for trade. Anyway. so that I can interact with this side uh, so for now bye bye and we will carry on soon enough